The Digital Technologies Hub has assessment support available to help you unpack the achievement standards and to design assessment activities for the Digital Technologies curriculum. The Australian Curriculum Achievement Standards provide a focus for teachers in initial planning and programming of teaching and learning activities. They provide a guide for what is expected to be taught at the end of each year level or year level band and are used to make judgments about student learning, whether the student has achieved below, at or above the standard. The Digital Technologies Curriculum presents the achievement standards holistically for each year level band as a full text description. This demonstrates the richness of the student learning outcomes for each year level band. To support you in interpreting these, we've drawn out the statements of achievement from the Digital Technologies curriculum and have mapped these to the threads of knowledge and understanding strand and the processes and production skills strand. This is designed to provide a visual overview that maps out how the statements of achievement across the various knowledge and skills and year level bands are similar to the scope and sequence for the content descriptors provided by ACARA. So looking at this document, you might be wondering what assessment activities are going to help me make judgments about student learning for the statements of achievement. We've leveraged Bloom's revised taxonomy to support you in the generation of assessment ideas for digital technologies by focusing on the key active verbs in the statements of achievement. Using the active verb as a focus allows us to concentrate on exactly what it is that we need students to demonstrate for their learning. For example, is it that we want students to explain something or perhaps to describe or represent something? Using this approach, you can look at the achievement standard in question, identify the active verb and consider assessment activities that might suit what it is you're wanting to measure. To show you how we can generate assessment ideas using this approach, we're going to do a quick walkthrough. Let's say we have the following statement of achievement taken from the years three to four band. You might be measuring two or more statements of achievement within a unit of work or a lesson. However, for this video, we'll focus on one statement. Let's consider the following. Describe how a range of digital systems, hardware and software, and their peripheral devices can be used for different purposes. Describe is our active verb here. Within Bloom's taxonomy, this falls within the understanding category in which students are asked to construct meaning. In this example, we want to consider activities that provide students the opportunity to describe digital systems and peripheral devices, as well as their purposes for use. This might include opportunities where students can share their understanding of the topic through means such as oral, visual or written communication. Some examples could include demonstrations, the production of text, annotated posters, oral or written open text questions, concept maps, presentations or animations. So going back to our original example, in year four, we might ask students to take photographs or video footage of digital systems and devices that they use throughout their day and ask them to document why they're used. We can then invite students to present their findings as a presentation to the class that documents their use throughout the day as a story timeline. This provides an opportunity for students to describe digital systems and peripheral devices, as well as a chance for you, peers or the student to measure their achievement of addressing the achievement standard. There are a number of different ways we might measure and collect data about their achievement in this scenario. You could use rubrics to measure varying levels of proficiency across the key elements you're looking for peer or self-evaluation, which could be supported through rubrics or a criteria. You'll find downloadable copies of the assessment guide, including both the breakdown of achievement standards and suggested assessment activities, which we've used Bloom's taxonomy as a guide. We hope you find them a useful starting point for generating assessments for digital technologies.